what are the other things which should they should be like not doing any compromise upon at all well i think that um if the woman carries a recessive trait yeah. that could be could really have poor outcome with the child and the donor is not testing for tested for that genetic trait or he has some previous offspring to compare to i would say that's probably something you definitely don't want to compromise on you know yeah. if a woman has cystic fibrosis or carries cystic fibrosis you really need to know if that donor has been screened for cystic fibrosis and because i mean that's you know not something that you want to pass on yeah so that's something i would say too i mean this is all a different part of the donor selection but std testing you know if this is just kind of a r- routine thing that experienced mm-hmm. donors do because women need peace of mind you know and um that uh, they're getting something that isn't going to infect them with something and so if he has a history like as like in my stuff i i have all my previous tests loaded up and you can look at this and uh say okay yeah he's been testing regularly for x number of years you know and always has tested negative so that you're looking at a good trend there right one he tests regularly and do if he's not contracted anything so those are a couple of the what i would say deal breakers if they don't ever have std testing or genetic screening for something you carry yeah so for anybody whom you recommend is like the first priority is no genetic uh, problem uh, the second part is std test no compromise over there mm-hmm. and do you think semen analysis is very important or how important is that 